Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys 5 early teams to look forward to rebuilding in Madden 23. And I didn't put the super obvious teams like the Lions or the Texans. I picked some teams that I think would make for an interesting rebuild. But without further ado, let's get right into it. And coming in at the number 5 spot are the Tennessee Titans. Now I think this team is in a really weird predicament because they did draft Malik Willis in the third round and plus they got Traylon Burks in the AJ Brown trade. You know, they just selected him with the 18th pick. But this roster is built to win now. So I think in this rebuild, you can contend for at least one or two years. And then if you're not able to win a Super Bowl, then you can blow it up and you can start Malik Willis. But being the Titans, you will have your franchise quarterback already. So you don't have to really worry about going out and getting one. And then on the defensive side, you're already going to have Jeffrey Simmons, along with Christian Fulton, Roger McCreary, and Caleb Farley. And all of these are really young cornerbacks. I mean, so is Harold Landry. So this defense is pretty solid. You don't really have to worry about it too much. It's more of the offensive side of the ball that is getting pretty old. But that's why I have the Titans here at the number five spot. And at the number four spot, we are going to have the New York Giants. The thing with this roster is they had a really good draft class in my opinion. And you'll have to find out on whether you will keep Daniel Jones or get another quarterback. But this offensive line has really improved with the addition of Evan Neal and Mark Lewinsky. And you will also have to make another big decision on Kadarius Toney if you want to keep it realistic then you will most likely have to trade him. But if not, then he'll be a fun player to play with. But then we go over to the defensive side and the Giants actually have a really solid defense. The linebacker core is a little bit iffy, but they did draft Kayvon Thibodeau, who will be a good edge rusher for them. And then they also have Dexter Lawrence and Leonard Williams, who are two really solid defensive linemen in the front. The secondary is also pretty solid. It's not the best thing ever, but it's not the worst thing ever. You'll have Xavier McKinney at the safety position and also Julian Love at the other. And then you'll also have to make another big decision on James Brad Barry because realistically he does want to get traded so you'll always have to keep that in the back of your mind whether you're playing realistically or not but yeah that's why I think that the Giants are a really interesting team to rebuild and they should be a lot of fun with the rookies now coming in as our number three team it'll have to be the Chicago Bears and look with the Bears you already have a quarterback in Justin Fields so all you have to do is just build around him and especially starting with the offensive line I mean they did draft left tackle Tevin Jenkins last year in the second round so you can try to develop him but other than that this offensive line is really really bad so I think that your first concern with this rebuild is improving the offensive line now another big weakness with this offense is the wide receiver position your number one receiver is going to be Darnell Mooney and then after that it really drops off with Byron Pringle and then you go down the list and you got David Moore and we know in Madden that getting a position player is always fun but if we also head over to the defensive side, you can see that this defense has really been ripped apart. I mean, they still got Roquan Smith at middle linebacker, but Robert Quinn is getting a little bit old and, you know, you might have to cut ties with him. But then you still got Eddie Jackson, who is a really solid safety. And the Bears did draft Jaquan Brisker. Also last year, they did draft Jalen Johnson, a cornerback. So those are some really solid pieces on the defensive side. But this team needs a lot of work. So that's why I put him here at number three. And now at the number two spot, we head over to Seattle. And honestly, in a rebuild, you're looking for a challenge. And with the Seahawks roster, they don't have a quarterback. I mean, I guess if you want to count Drew Locke, but I don't know how many of you guys are going to want to keep him. I personally wouldn't. So trying to find the franchise quarterback could make for a fun challenge. And then at the wide receiver position, we have DK Metcalf, Tyler Lockett, and Dwayne Eskridge, who are some really good wide receivers. Tyler Lockett could be on his way out. That is a decision that is up to you. And then at tight end, we have Noah Fant and Will Disley, who are two really good tight ends. Look at the running back position we have Chris Carson Rashad Penny but most importantly we have Kenneth Walker who is a really really good running back but of course with Seattle the big focus is the offensive line and in the draft they really addressed it with Charles Cross so it's a solid offensive line right now but you really have to work on it now taking a look at the defense this is a squad that needs improved now we do have a bright spot in Boye Mafe. Jordan Brooks also makes for a nice middle linebacker and then of course you have Jamal Adams but the cornerback position could use another guy and the linebackers need some work. Also addressing the defensive line wouldn't hurt, but Seattle should be a really good team to rebuild. And coming in at the number one spot are the Atlanta Falcons. And talking about interesting teams, this is the most interesting out of all of them. Along with the lack of good players, you're also going to have to deal with the cap issues, but let's forget about that for right now. And looking at the quarterback position, they did draft Desmond Ritter. So maybe you could start Marcus Mariota for a couple games and then give the rookie Desmond Ritter a shot. Or you could sit behind Mariota for a year while you gather talent. The running back position is okay for right now. I mean, you got Cordero Patterson and Damian Williams. 
But looking at the wide receiver position, you have Drake London, who was the eighth pick in this year's draft, and he's a 6'5 beast, so he should be fun to play with. And then you also have another big receiver in Auden Tate. Then looking at the tight end position, obviously from last year's draft, there is Kyle Pitts, who actually had a really good rookie season for a tight end. This offensive line does need a little bit of work. As you can see, the offensive line is kind of the theme of the video. Now, if we head over to the defensive side, there are a couple bright spots. I mean, both of your middle linebackers are really young. You have Deion Jones and Rashawn Evans. You have Lorenzo Carter off the edge and Arnold, I don't even know how to pronounce the last name, but it's all right. But the safety positions do need a little bit of work. And the cornerback position, I mean, they have Casey Hayward, but the really big piece here is AJ Terrell. And then on the defensive line, there's just Grady Jarrett and nothing else really. So the defense does need a lot of work if you're gonna try to rebuild the Atlanta Falcons. But I feel like the Falcons are the most interesting team and that's why I have them at number one. Now that is going to do it for my top five early teams to rebuild in Madden 23. I just feel like those are the five interesting teams and I didn't wanna give you the list with obviously like the Lions or the Texans. Cause I feel like those are teams that, you know, everyone's gonna have. But these are the top five interesting teams for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, then consider subscribing. I'd appreciate it. And with all that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.